Today we talk about percents. A percent represents the piece of a quantity a part represents. The cent stands for 100, which means we are looking for a representation of our part compared to the full 100 it belongs to. We have three ways to express a percentage, as a fraction, as a decimal, and as a percentage. Let's start with decimals to percent. To convert a decimal to a percent, multiply by 100 and then add the percent sign. Note, multiplying by 100 moves the decimal point two places to the right. Let's look at some examples. 0.57 can be expressed as 57%. 0 0.3264 becomes 32.64. You can see the decimal place has moved two places to the right. 0 0.05 when we move the decimal place two places to the right, it becomes 5%. 1.25 moves two places to the right and becomes 125%. Now let's look at percents to decimals. When we change from a percent to a decimal, we move the decimal place two places to the left and we drop the percent symbol. 18% becomes 0.18. 34.5% changes to 0 0.345. 0 0.405%. Since there's only one number to the left of the decimal, we place a zero in front of the four. Now when we move the decimal place two places to the left, we get 0 0.0405. Let's look at 2%. Since I only have one number two, I put a zero in front of it. Now I can move it two places to the left, which becomes 0 0.02. Given 0 0.8, I put two zeros in front of the decimal place, and then I can move the decimal two places to the left to get 0 0.008. If I'm given a fraction, I have one half percent. Let's first write that as a decimal, which is 0.5 percent. And then I move the decimal place two to the left, so I add two zeros and I get 0 0.005. If you wanted to, you could do all of this in your calculator by just dividing by 100. Now we're going to change fractions to percents. To change a fraction to a percent, convert the fraction to a decimal, multiply by 100, and add the percent sign. Let's start with 3 fourths. 3 fourths as a decimal is 0.75. Then to make it a percent, I multiply it by 100, which is moving the decimal two places to the right. It gives me 75%. Let's look at 1 over 7. 1 over 7 is 0 0.14285. Let's write that as 0 0.1429, and then multiply it by 100, which is moving the decimal place two to the right. I get 14.29%. 5 over 6 is 0.8. 3, and the 3 keeps repeating, so I've made it four decimal places. Let's move that decimal two place over. I have 83.33%. 7 over 10 is 0 0.70. I multiply that by 100, gives me 70%. Mixed fractions. 6 and 1 fourth percent could be written as 6 plus 1 fourth. 1 fourth is 0.25, so we know 6 plus 0.25 is 6.25%. Let's put a zero in front of the six so that I can move the decimal place two places to the left. This gives me 0 0.0625 as a decimal. Let's try it again. I have eight and two fifths percent. Just like we did before, we're gonna separate the fraction from the whole number. So I have eight plus two fifths percent. Two fifths is 0.4, so I have 8.4%. Once again, I'm going to put a zero in front of the eight so that I can move the decimal place two places to the left, which gives me 0 0.084. Finding the part. To find a percent of a number, use the equation the percent of a whole is a part. This says the percentage of the whole equals the part. When doing the calculation, it's helpful to convert the percent to decimals. If we want to know 15% of 60, we calculate 0.15 times 60, and that would give us 9. Let's find 2.5% of 32. We'll change 2.5% to 0 0.025. We'll multiply by 32, and our result is 0 0.8. 
you try. So here are three problems to give a try. I would pause this right now so that you can get the answers and then come back and check the answers with me. All right, so let's start with the 18% of 245. Hopefully you wrote that 18% is 0.18. If I multiply 0 0.18 times 245, you should get 44.1. 9.4% of 73, we're going to change 9.4 to 0 0.094. Multiplying that by 73, we get 6.862. 8.5%, the half is 0.5, so 8.5% is 8.5%, which becomes 0 0.085. Multiplying by 19, we get 1.615. What if we wanted to solve for the whole? We still have the equation. The percent of the whole equals the part. So given 5 is 25% of what number, we can figure out what the number is. We want to pay attention to what each thing represents in our original question. 5 is the part. Clearly 25% is our percentage, so we're going to write that as a decimal, 0.25. We don't know the whole, let's call it x, and the part is 5. To solve, we need to divide by 0.25. which says x is equal to 20. Let's try it some more. 2.85 is 3% of what number? So 2.85 becomes the part. 3% is our percentage. I'm going to change the 3% to 0 0.03. We're going to write x for the whole and 2.85 as the part. We're going to divide by 0 0.03, divide by 0 0.03, x will be equal to 2.85 divided by 0 0.03, which is 95. Let's try it again. 800 is 250% of what number? 250%, remember we're changing two decimal places, so this becomes 2.5 written as a decimal. x is what we're trying to find, and 800 is our part. We're dividing by 2.5 divide by 2.5, which gives us 320. Now let's try to find the percent. We still have the equation the percent of the whole equals the part, but now we'll be given both the part and the whole. This says 6 is what percent of 30? 6 represents the part, 30 represents the whole, so we're going to say the percent, this time is x, what we're looking for. The whole is 30, and our part is 6. We'll divide both sides by 30. x will be equal to 6 divided by 30, which is 0 0.2. Let's express that as a percentage. So I multiply by 100, which is moving the decimal place 2 to the right. This is 20%. Let's try it again. 15 is what percent of 400? So I'm looking for my percent, which I don't know x. The whole is 400, and my part is 15. We'll divide both sides by 400. x is 15 divided by 400. This is 0 0.0375. Let's move the decimal 2 to the right. We get 3.75%. 8.4 is what percent of 20? x will be our percentage, the whole is 20, and our part is 8.4. Divide by 20, divide by 20, x, 8.4 divided by 20 is 0 0.42. Let's change that over to a percent. If I move it 2 to the right, I get 42%. All right, you try. Figure out 16 is 40% of what number, and 4 is what percent of 10. Pause me for a minute, and then come back and let's look at the answers together. So let's start with 16 is 40% of what number? So 40% becomes 0 0.40. I'm looking for a number, so that's the whole x, and I have 16. I'm going to divide by 0 0.40, divide by 0.40. x is equal to 16 divided by 0.4, which is 40. Then 4 is what percent of 10? So I don't know the percent, that's x. My whole is 10, 
and I'm looking for the part for. So x times 10 is 4. I'm going to divide by 10, divide by 10. That says x is 0.4, which becomes 40%.